I think you're delusional if you think it's not going to be challenging. I don't know. To live in a very small RV for over two weeks with two small children, but hey. Welcome back. It is our last week before we hit the road on our big RV trip all the way up to Canada. So we are spending this week prepping for the journey ahead and getting everything that we might need. We have to be super efficient, obviously, because we are gonna be on the road the entire time and there's very minimal space in an RV for a family of four. So we're prepping and packing and we're also just trying to kind of soak up our time in the luxuries of our home and our regular routine. And Josh is putting on running shoes right now because part of his daily routine right now is running and training for his London Marathon, which you guys all seemed really interested in in last week's video when we mentioned it. So he's gonna take you along for the journey a little bit this week as well. When I'm running on my street, we live on a hill. So I do my short runs here. Short run being three to five miles now. Sometimes two, if it's a recovery run. So I do laps, which is why you just saw me touch the vent. If it feels long, it'll be done. I'm blessed that I can do it, you know? While he's off running in the baking heat, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the acting project that I'm doing because I know a lot of people wanted to know about that. It is a Hallmark movie and I'm singing in it, you guys. I don't sing, like I sing in my car, I sing at karaoke, I sing in front of my kids, like that's pretty much it, but I'm not like totally tone deaf, so I feel like somewhat confident, but I am starring in the movie with someone who is a real professional singer. I'm kind of excited to take on that challenge because I wanna be able to show my kids. You can do anything, as long as you do it with confidence, as long as you explore and get creative and try, um, ain't no shame in that. I will be the back on your TV screens and singing on them uh, very soon. <laughs> That's the morning done. The hardest thing for me right now is actually battling the humidity. The miles are long, like day before yesterday I did around 10 miles. Um, so that is a long run, you know, and they're going up two miles each week to get me up to about 20 miles a couple of weeks before. And then obviously it's the big run, which is 26 miles. Recovery is just as important as actually time on the feet. From what I've read, again, this is my first marathon. So first bit of recovery is give my wife a kiss. Give the kids a bit of a cuddle and a play if they're home, if they're not at preschool, we're out with the nanny. Then I make a smoothie and I sit on Sinead's pink couch and get that really sweaty because she loves that. <laughs> uh, I'll show you what goes in my smoothie. What was in this is blueberries, banana, peanut butter, cinnamon, milk, normally has spinach in it as well, but would you believe it? Well, I'm sure you would believe it because you live in the world, but there's a shortage on spinach right now where we live, so I literally can't find frozen spinach anywhere. I'm pretty like nerdy when it comes to wanting to know everything, so before I started the real training, um, I looked into a bunch of different training plans for the marathon. All the big brands and running companies do offer them. Mm. Um, and then the London Marathon itself also offers three different ones. Um, so I looked into those and they actually suited me the best. So the runs are going up and up and up and you get to like week 13, I think is a three hours and 30 minute run. <laughs> so this week Mental. actually you caught me when it's actually a slightly easier week, which I'm grateful for because it's going to be super hot. And then now we're also going to have to navigate traveling and training. So I'm not going to know my environment, um, but I'm really excited about that. So the last thing that's really important part of my training is having a shower because otherwise I won't get to hang around with anyone for the rest of the day because that'll stick. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump in and do that. But before I go, I just want to say, well, if you have already sponsored me, thank you very much. But if you'd like to sponsor me, there's a link in the bio. You can sponsor me on Raising Money for Children with Cancer UK, inspired by Betsy, who's nine years old. She's from where I grew up. She's on her 12th round of chemotherapy and since December. She's got a really, really rare form of cancer and it's absolutely brutal. So I'm raising money for kids like her. Click the link in the bio, five pounds, 50p, whatever. I'm trying to get to 3,000, so come on, let's do it. And thank you to anyone who has already. While he's doing that, you will join me in my closet. 
because I need to start packing. Here's the deal, packing for this trip is going to be a challenge because we do not have a lot of room in the RV. In our past trips, I have just used a single little duffel bag, kept it in the exterior storage unit and I would just like bring it in and out as I needed, but that's not gonna be practical for this long extended stay. I'm gonna have to pack super minimally and make sure that I'm only packing things that I can use for multiple situations, occasions, et cetera, et cetera. So with that in mind, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Gym Plus Coffee. But before I do, why don't I change into something a little bit more comfortable? much better. A huge part of their brand ethos is all about building community around leading a fit and healthy life. At the end of the day, the reason why I love taking care of my physical health so much is because it does a lot for my mental health and because it allows me to have the strong body that I need to keep up with my kids all day long. I love how flattering their exercise pants are and how cute the details are on the sports bras. It is pretty hot out this summer, so I don't know if I'm going to need the beanie per se, but I feel like a beanie is just kind of a staple when you're camping in the woods, you know? If you guys want to grab any Gym Plus coffee goodies for yourself, make sure you use my code GRIMESBEACH for 20% off site-wide. Click the link in my video description below. I don't know if you remember from our RV tour video, but we're taking the same RV on this trip. So it has a lot of overhead storage surrounding the bed, and I'm basically going to designate one cabinet per family member. So whatever I bring has to pretty much fit in that cabinet. Okay, I'm pretty much done except for a raincoat and some shoes, but I did want to show you this brand new t-shirt that I just got. Yes, it's a skeleton. Yes, that is an RV camper. And yes, it says good times because that is exactly what we plan on having on this trip. A new episode. A new hair transformation. I got my color done last week and I'm super happy with how it turned out. It just like softened my overall look, but Josh is telling me that I need, he says a few inches off. I mean, those ends look a little scraggly. Hopefully they can help me out running late. As always, I feel like I say that a hundred times every single week, but here we are, mom life. Feels so much better. I hate to admit this, but as per usual, Josh was right. I desperately needed that. So we thought it would be funny to show you guys like the behind the scenes, especially of the TikToks, because it's always so ridiculous. Um, if you guys want to see more content, like behind the scenes content creator content, please comment below and let us know, because I am thinking about starting another channel with more like tutorial style um, of content on all oh, things yeah. content creation. I am. As if you could take on some more work. You yeah, know, it, it is what it is, but I'm so passionate about it. So we are gonna show you right now what actually goes in to filming the ridiculous videos that we post on TikTok. So basically what we're trying to do is make a joke out of Stone Cold Steve Austin's WWE, um, his intro. So we're gonna take some of his uh, characteristics, but also just our normal silliness and make it into something potentially. Let's see. So part of this video was Sinead throws a can at me. And then I had to throw it away, but now I can't find a can of too much of a mess. There it is. Too much of a method actor. Yeah, Shane, ready? Catch. Ready? Oh my god! Oh! That would have been a trip to the hospital. Oh, shit. Sorry, Shane. We're having a big chocolate milk break, aren't we, Bozy? Hey, I think we've got it. So, what we normally do is once we think we've got a good one, um, let's just do another one, see if we can beat it. Save the drink. We really try not to overthink these things. I think, you know, when we used to at the beginning, didn't we? We'd go back and do it 25 times and then it just wasn't funny. No, so you now like we lose do like the funny the more you do it. Two or three, and then it's like you either think it's funny or you don't. It's all about being lighthearted and silly. Last shot. Let's do this. Now we're hanging by a thread that is ringing in my head. Bowie was out here for that and she, she loved it. So she's going to do her own version. 
Bo, are you ready? Ready? Three, and two, one, go! Action. Go! I'm going to get my booster shot while I'm out and then I'll swing back, pick him up and we'll go and get some dinner. Safe driving, I'm leaving my driveway now. Booster done, which we just decided to get because we have all of this travel upcoming. So I wanna try and stay as healthy as we can through all of it. Mama. Welcome. Hello, how are you doing? My car. How are you doing? All right, how are you? Good. How are you feeling post booster 24 hours? All right. Tired? Yeah. 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 It's all right though. I know what all the fuss is about. Your shoe looks great. I'm doing up my laces, isn't there? Time to do that. <laughs> Food was too good and full disclosure, eating in a restaurant with two kids around witching hours always too chaotic to really film much. But we did get a really cute clip of just a taster of the chaos that ensues when we go out to eat as a family. And now it's time for dessert. If you haven't had frozen custard, you're missing out. Oh, it's cold in here. It's so hot. Is it good? Ice cream, I got a belly. <laughs> so we are going to start heading on our journey in just a couple of days. It's getting very real. We have a lot to do. We gotta pick up the RV, we gotta load up the RV, we gotta get all the stuff to put in the RV and all of that jazz. That's gonna happen next week. And then we are on the road for probably the next month or so of content. When you say it like that, that's... I know, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to give you guys a little update about like where we're going, what we're doing. We said last week we're going to Canada in this RV trip and the route slash route for our UK people watching. Friends right? across the pond. Friends across the pond. Um, we are heading up through Kentucky, Michigan, and then we're breaking into can breaking into Canada. Friendship. We're legally crossing the border <laughs> into Canada in London, Ontario, and then heading up to Muskoka. Muskoka is like cottage country a couple hours north of Toronto, which is where I'm from. I grew it's, up. It's bougie cottage country. Guys. It is bougie. Yeah, it's cottage bougie. country. Like everybody's like everybody's wearing their roots. It's like the Hamptons of Toronto. Sort of. It is exactly the Hamptons. Of. I don't think it's like that bougie. Yes, it is. It can be. Okay, to put it into perspective, if you wanted to buy a property on the water in Muskoka, it'd be about $20 million. Well, I mean, <laughs> like Goldie <laughs> Hawn and Kurt Russell have a house in Muskoka. Yeah, it's bougie. It can we be. We will very be staying bougie. in an RV in a field near it. <laughs> Not so bougie. Yeah, that's us though, baby. <laughs> yeah. But I spent my summers going up to friends' cottages, not bougie, my family's. Bougie, <laughs> just like Drake started from the bottom, ah! right? 
I mean, um, going up to friends' cottages, not my own. You're surrounded by woods and lakes and everything. And since the first year Josh and I got together, I've taken him up for a summer vacation in Muskoka pretty much most summers. Yeah. Um, It'll be nice to be able to sleep inside because normally we just take a sleep and bed. <laughs> normally we stay at like a little hotel out there, a little cabin. But a hotel, a shed, well, it's like a, a shed on the like water. Shed on yeah. the water. Um, we've made a lot of amazing memories in Muskoka, and I'm really, really, really excited to make Start some that memories with some with Bowie the kids. and Kings. Yeah, they'll yeah. love it because they've know? never been. Bowie's never been to Muskoka because pandemic. No, and we also don't want them getting too used to that like bougie lifestyle so when we come out of like the nice fancy shops and restaurants and stuff i'm just gonna like be dressed up in other costumes and mug them <laughs> just keep it real <laughs> keep it real <laughs> So what are we gonna do in Muskoka? Yes, we're staying in an RV, but we're not just staying in any RV park. We're staying in Santa's village. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> <laughs> it's the all year round Santa Claus experience. Anyway, don't give too much away. We've got a lot of fun stuff going up. There isn't Santa Claus's house we in do. the summer on a bougie lake. And then on the way back, we're taking an alternative route slash route so that we get to see more of other places like Niagara Falls, which I'm really excited Niagara about. Niagara Falls, yeah, and they said I can go down it in a kayak <laughs> going through ohio yeah. lots of fun stuff coming up and i am really excited for this trip i think it's going to pose a lot of amazing memories or create a lot of amazing memories but also pose some definite challenges it's going to be like i hope bro. i don't know about that why you don't think that a two-week road trip with two small children is going to be a little bit challenging <laughs> Oh, it'll be nice. Okay. I'm excited. I mean, it will be nice. Sinead's saying that it's going to be like a little bit crazy and a challenge so that you keep watching, but just watch it because it's going to be fun. That. That's not even true. <laughs> I think you're delusional if you think it's not going to be challenging. I don't know. To live in a very small RV for over two weeks with two small children, but hey, that's what we say. I think for. it would be cha if it rains a lot. But... Yeah. Oh my God, but if it rains. I'm just going to come home. I'm not doing that. That's it. Come what do we do if it rains? Anyway, it's going to be great. We hope you guys are going to join us for this wild journey ahead. If you aren't already, please subscribe to make sure you don't miss a moment with us. And we cannot wait to see you. And if you're not subscribed, it's really rude that you just steal all this content. <laughs> just saying, subscribe, guys. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>